Hi, welcome to the 3D Pendant. In the first two videos on making spheres, I made balls by two very different methods. This one was done with contour lifting, and this one over an existing round shape. Links to those methods are in the description. But there is a third way. Part of this third technique was already featured in the Easy Sphere video, where I was making wound beads. That was a fun and quick project, but it works best for small size balls. There's a bit more to that technique when the shape gets larger than about two inches. So let's look into it right now. And subscribe if you want to stay in the loop. The idea of this technique is super simple. Whenever you fold any 2D shape, it becomes instantly a 3D shape. Works with everything, not just circles. Folding is how you get 3D origami creations from a single flat sheet of paper. Remember the easy sphere? The reason this works is that the circles are relatively small and you are ready to bend them before the plastic had a chance to cool down and it's still warm and flexible. And small balls are sort of self-sustaining and their arcs don't need any additional support. However, if you want to make 5 inch ball, which is the largest size you can make with 3D made mat, you will need to support the arcs of your circles a bit more for the structure to be stable. It gets harder to just eyeball the size of the angles as things get bigger. So I'm sorry to say, yes, you will have to measure. Fortunately, the 3D made mat has a lot of the measuring already built into it. All we need to do is add some control over how much you bend your shapes. Our sphere will be made out of eight segments, as is our 3D made circle template, which means we need to bend our circle to 45 degrees for everything to fit. If you need to bend a thing to 90 degree angle, that's super easy. You just use a square dowel. But 45 degrees is a bit harder and you will need to find something to help you judge the angle. This is a block from a kids building block set. Or you can just cut a square dowel diagonally like I did here. Or if you don't have access to a saw, just build one out of cardboard. What you need is a triangle with a right angle in one corner. And here you have the 45 degree slant we are looking for. This is a wood burning tool equipped with a leaf tip. This will give you a way to reheat the plastic in strategic spots where you want it to bend, while leaving it hard and stable everywhere else. Another tool that is handy for this is a precision caliper to check if the parts that are supposed to be the same size really are the same size. But if you don't have one, just use a strip of cardboard or a ruler to measure with. We are all set. Let's give it a try.
use a very light touch when reheating the spots you need to bend so you don't accidentally cut the plastic all the way through. Even though if you do, it is entirely fixable. Time to join the two parts. Stabilize your parts to make them steady enough to join responsibly. And check you should have enough room to fit in two more of the 45 degree angles. I have a couple of lines here that doubled up during the forming process, so I will just edit those out now. Here, yet another interesting sphere creation. I do love the starburst in the center. That is a feature you can't get with the previous two methods of building spheres. So here are the three spheres, each made with a different method. Each has a slightly different look, needs different equipment, and each has its own pros and cons. And each will decorate differently. But that's a story for another video. So subscribe if you don't want to miss it.